For this video, I'm going to be talking about the threats to the Canadian colonies. In 1861-1865, the Americans were involved in the Civil War. The Civil War was the northern states um, fighting against the southern states. They were in a conflict over the legalities around slavery. Now, in the southern states, there was a lot of plantations, a lot of farms, and they their economy was reliant high, heavily on enslaved labor. And with the abolishment of slavery would mean they would lose all of that free labor, labor and essentially lose a lot of money. So their what they wanted to achieve was they wanted to separate southern colonies, southern states from northern states, uh, so they could create their own nation where uh, slavery could be legal. During this conflict, uh, because the United States was a trading partner of the British, they remained neutral. So even though they, as a nation, were against slavery and abolished slavery, they continued to trade with the southern states because they needed their resources, they needed their cotton. And um, so after the Civil War was over, this left, you know, Americans weren't happy with this because uh, the British kind of took advantage and played both sides. And they're not gonna go across an ocean and declare war on European country. Uh, but if they just look north, they have a British colony right there that they could, um, invade and they could create a war with and they have a very trained military they just went through a war and the military has nothing to do and they know that there is no formal military in the british colony of canada also around this time in 1867 uh, there's the sale of alaska so uh, russia did have a settlement in alaska um, but never really developed a colony there, and it's really difficult to protect that piece of land, again, from across the ocean. And so after the Civil War, they decide, mm, maybe we should sell our property to the United States. And so in 1867, the uh, Alaskan, Alaska Purchase goes through, and the United States now have a state um, to the north of British Columbia. So this is a potential threat because now there is a US state on both sides of the country. Another threat would be manifest destiny. Uh, in the United States, there was this idea that it was every citizen's manifest destiny to acquire land, to move west, to expand, to, to own property. And there was a lot of open space in Canada, a lot of unprotected open space in Canada. So manifest destiny was um, a legitimate threat um, to the colonies. Then there were the Fenians. So the Fenians was a group that called the Irish, Repub Irish Republic Brotherhood. And they were upset because of what was happening in Europe between Britain and Ireland and the British rule over the Irish. So again, we have this idea that the conflicts that are happening in Europe are spilling over into the British colonies in Canada. And, and so with the Fenians came this idea that uh, within the American army that, you know, there, the British colonies in Canada were not well protected and we could take them over. And, and because we know of the high Irish population in Ontario, there was this fear that the sentiment of taking over the British colonies would sort of spread into, um, into Canada. And finally, the economy. We are still, at this time, Canada is a British colony and there's no formal military. So every single time there is a threat, Britain has to send over soldiers. And that costs a lot of money and a lot of lives. And it's getting really expensive to have uh, Canada and help support these colonies. So the economy of maintaining these colonies is becoming a large threat.